What's going on guys? In this video, I want to talk about pushing TMAX two stops. Um, specifically, TMAX 400 pushed to 1600. So most times when I'm shooting a 400 speed black and white film, you know, be it Tri-X or T-Max or HP5, uh, I'll push it. Don't push it. Don't push it. I'll give you a war you won't believe. And I guess the exception is portraits because I, I don't think it looks very well uh, or it's not very flattering, I think, on people. So usually I, I don't do it for portraits. Uh, but if I'm going out to shoot, you know, landscape, scenery, um, you know, stuff like that, I'll, you know, especially city scenes, man, it, it has a gritty, raw kind of feeling. And it, uh, you can tell it, it adds punch, it adds contrast, um, and it also, it makes your negatives a little bit easier to print if you're going to print them in the darkroom. And as far as development, uh, I generally, with black and white, I'll use T-Max Liquid Developer, the 1 plus 4 ratio, um, around 68 or 75 degrees, depending if it's summer or winter, uh, you know, I kind of fluctuate, but uh, usually I'm using the Liquid Developer at, at 1 plus 4. Uh, this was 7 minutes and 15 seconds, and I can list, you know, all of the actual specific steps and temperatures and all that stuff in the description if you'd like. Um, I just use the ultimate dev chart. You know, I, I pulled that up and, um, you know, that thing's, <laughs> that thing is just awesome, man. I don't, I don't know if you guys are, um, you're probably familiar with it if you uh, develop your own film, but um, it's just such a wealth of, a wealth of, man, I can't, I got marbles in my mouth, <laughs> a wealth of information um, on that website. So, you know, any film, uh, pretty much any ISO, hit the search, boom, you know, you, you got your times and your temps. So it's, you know, it's a pretty cool thing to have. And all these images, uh, there was no edits. You know, I, I did, you know, remove some boogies, like I did a, a spot healing here and there to, to get some dust and stuff like that. Sharpened it just a little bit, but as far as the curves and the levels, you know, I didn't touch them because I thought it would be beneficial to maybe leave everything as is, you know, straight out of the tank. This door is so fucking cool. That's gonna wrap it up for me today, guys. Um, I hope the video was helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful or you enjoyed watching, if you could do me a favor, hit the like button uh, and maybe even share the video. That would be even more helpful. You know, more people see the video and then Google and, and YouTube give us the algorithm juice and, and, you know, the channel goes out to more people. So that's like, that would be super cool. Uh, I hope everybody's well and uh, we'll catch you soon.